Kevin here with Consumer Review, and today we'll be doing a full review of the Plantronics Voyager Focus UC headset. As you know, headsets are in high demand right now and being used by almost everyone, as most office workers are now working from home, and teachers and kids are now interacting online. People are even chatting with friends and ordering food by syncing headsets to cell phones via Bluetooth. And right now I'm using the condenser mic that I was using at the beginning of the video. Later on in the video, I'll be using one of these Plantronics headsets so that you can hear what the mic sounds like. In a way, it's the ultimate mic test. So you'll hear it while I tell you all about the headset. Now, I've been using this headset for about three years, and this is my experience. Now, currently it's sold for $199 on Amazon. The link's down below in the description. Now, with this Plantronics Voyager headset, there's no need for updates, which means you don't have to search the internet looking for a website to update the thing. It's pretty much plug and play right out the box using the included USB dongle. Um, I can say it's pretty solid and it works every time. Here, let me show you the other headset. Okay, so here's our USB cable that comes with it and here's the headset and here's the pouch and our USB dongle. However, you could download the Plantronics Voyager's Features app, link down below in the description. Now, like I said, I've been using it for three years and only updated it today after doing research for this video and I can hear and notice no difference. As you can see, I have two Voyager headsets. One will be displayed in the video. The other one will be used to record the rest of the video as I'll be switching over in just a moment. Now, as you can see, I've switched over to the Plantronics Voyager headset and I'm pretty sure you could hear a difference. Now, it comes with a docking station for charging or you can use the included USB to micro USB cable to charge it in case you have a small desk or just don't want to use the docking station. Now they do sell a model without the docking station if that's what you prefer. Can you hear a reduction in background noise since I began using the headset? Hmm. Now you're going to need the dongle if you're planning to connect it to your computer. Even if your computer or laptop has Bluetooth capability, you will still need this dongle. My understanding is that the headset does not support direct Bluetooth to PC connectivity without the dongle. And when I tried to do this, it failed to connect and pass audio. But it does support direct Bluetooth without the use of the dongle with cell phones and tablets or TVs with Bluetooth audio capabilities. Now, they include a cloth pouch with a slight rubbery feel to it. It's thickly padded, it's an all right case. So let's take a look at the headset and its features. The headset has a metal band to provide some stability. It does have this foam band for comfort right below that. A nice feature is that when it's just sitting on your desk and you get a call, you can pick it up Put it on your head and it will automatically answer the call. It will also automatically mute a call if you take it off and when you place it back on your head, the automated voice will say mute off. The earmuffs are over ear with thin memory foam and are very soft. In all my time of wearing these, I've never felt ear fatigue or soreness. The microphones can flip on both sides so you can use it on the right or left ear. The mic is noise canceling and works well. There is a mute button on the mic boom. As you can see here, this little red button. You can use this if you're on a call and don't want to take off the headset. If you try to talk while mute is on, you'll get an automated reminder that says mute on. This symbol here on the side with the mic is also the answer button, so you can answer calls. Here are your power and Bluetooth sync buttons. Hold it in the up position so you can sync the headset to your devices. The green position is also power on. Now here on the other side, we have the volume rocker, pause, play, track board, and back buttons. This headset provides nothing less than a solid performance when being paired with a cell phone and listening to music. I've used it in this way and I could attest to it. 
Another cool feature is it will pause your music when you take off the headset and it will resume the music when you put it back on your head. On the bottom you will notice this A and C button which stands for active noise control so you can drown out additional background noise. I haven't really felt the need to use this as the headset does a good job of noise cancelling on its own. Audio is really clear when using with Zoom, Teams, Skype and Avaya or with a cell phone. It's not too bassy and not over trebly on the highs, if that's a word, trebly. The earmuffs are over ears so you can still hear what's going on around you but not as loud as you would if not having them on of course. While charging on its base, you'll see four blue lights light up one after the other until it's fully charged. And there's also a USB charging port, so when it's not on its base and you like to charge with the USB cable that I show you, you can do that as well. Now, if you have other headsets connected to your cell phone, you may have to go to the phone Bluetooth settings and select forget this device because the Voyager refuses to connect. After forgetting the device, you will need to resync the headset. It's almost as if your phone can sometimes get confused as to which headset to connect to and at what time, but it's really a rare thing. Talk time is up to 12 hours and listening time is up to 15 hours. It's PC, Mac, and mobile compatible. The headset weighs 155 grams. It's equipped with Bluetooth 4.1 with 98 feet of wireless range, but with my usage, I find it cuts out around 65 feet. And I've been using it since 1 minute 55 seconds into this video and I'm still using it now. Overall, it's very comfortable, voice quality is excellent, it has a long battery life, and it has a good balanced sound signature for music. Now, if you want to take a look at the Jabra Evolve 265, see my quick unboxing and review on that headset. Just click on the thumbnail link right now.